over 30 students of Ejumako Afrancy Technical and Vocational Institute in the Ejumako Enyan SM district of the central region have been hospitalized after allegedly consuming contaminated food. There is more in the following report by our central regional correspondent, Carvis Stete. According to Channel One News sources, the students, numbering over 30, started complaining of stomach upset after consuming wache and stew for lunch on Tuesday. Some began vomiting while others lay helplessly in their dormitories. The sources further revealed that some students immediately complained of stomach pains just after consuming the food. The attention of school authorities was drawn to the issue, forcing some teachers to rush the affected students to the Jumako Bar and Salvation Army Polyclinic for treatment. However, some parents, after hearing of the news, stormed the hospital and the school to visit the awards. Daniel Ajiako, physician assistant for the Salvation Army Polyclinic, tells Channel One News that preliminary investigations and laboratory tests are being conducted to ascertain the root cause of the diarrhea and stomach pains. Students from a France senior high school started trooping in our facility over the night with the complaints of diarrhea and vomiting. As of now, most of them, and even all of them, are, have been stabilized. But we don't know the root cause, so we are now undergoing some lab investigations to know what is really the cause of whatever they are presenting with. Over the night, I can say about 20 and even more, and they are still coming this morning. So it's, there will be over 20 students. We are now doing the labs because they came over the night. So it's this morning that we've taken the samples to the lab. So we are now waiting for the lab results. So we cannot conclude on the cause of whatever they presented with. A few of them came during the day, which is normal. They usually come when they resume. So we didn't see it as something that was uh, alarming. But over the night, they started trooping in. That's when uh, we, we detected that there is something wrong. Some of the students were seen laying on the bench in one of the facilities. But the administrator of the Salvation Army Polyclinic has some explanation for that while calling for support from government. At the moment, um, we need nebulizers, um, emergency monitors, the delivery beds, um, an ambulance. For now, we have only one generator which is serving the whole clinic and maybe drift stands, oxygen concentrators. Over 30 students of the Ejumako and Francis Professional and Technical School here in the Ejumako and in the same district are receiving treatment at the Salvation Army for the clinic for taking in some substance which is believed to be unwholesome. Now, it's better. It's